five, it's Monday Night Nominations. Here's your host, Gretel Killeen. Well, tonight is nomination night, number seven, and boy has Big Brother got a surprise for the housemates. I am not telling you now. You will have to wait till the end of the show when your socks will be blown off. Now, some of the housemates are still emotionally raw today. As last night, of course, the house lost Joe, and some of the guys lost their mojo. Plus, <laughs> tonight we have two nomination virgins in Kim and Jamie. Ooh, so it's going to be a big night, not only because of that, but because nothing makes our housemates think more about the meaning of life, the universe and everything than being nominated. As we found out last Monday night. Let's take a look. This is Big Brother. This week, there are three nominees for eviction. Daniel. I can't believe I've made it this many times. I'm nominated and not going. I'm the champ at it. Regina. I feel like... Um, like they don't want me in here anymore. And Joanne. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm gone this week. <laughs> I knew I was gonna go. Oh. Well, Joe's eviction last night also caused pain and even a hint, well, actually a hunt, by Vincent and Patrick. They went hunting for a hint of Joe, and what they found was a strand of her long blonde hair. Romantic, pathetic and tragic at the same time. <laughs> Joe will of course be joining me later to get nearly naked in the nomination spa, and I mean emotionally naked, sadly, for all the men across the nation. But first, let's cross live to the No Joe Zone to see how the housemates are coping. <laughs> hello, house. Oh, hello. Hey, Greta. Hi. Hello, all right. Who's suffered terribly in the last 24 hours? Saxon, <laughs> you have. Yeah, um, but it's your fault for putting people as cool as Holly <laughs> in here anyway, so I don't know. Yeah, it was hard, but it was hard for everyone. I'm just a wuss who sort of cries a bit too much, I think. Yes. But no, nah, things are going to get easier because there's still cool people in here, but... How did you feel after having such a big cry? Did you feel cleansed? Um, not really. I felt like I'm going to get bashed up by all my mates when I get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it, it, I sort of felt like I was going to wake up and it, it was going to be the same. But, you know, I got up and got some pretty cool people like, as a support centre, so it's good to get up, have a coffee, have another little bit of a cry, and now I'm all good. I'm ready for a week. Good on you, because you guys are suffering anyway because you've hardly got any food left, have you? Yeah, that's right. uh, I've lost like 10 kilos. <laughs> what was that? I've lost about 10 kilos. <laughs> have you? Did All you this health, it's like I'm in like a health retreat. Is it? <laughs> no <laughs> fish and chips, <laughs> no cigarettes, <laughs> no beer. <laughs> Good heavens, this must be what heaven's like, do you think? I've been exercising and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, my skin's gone all funny. Brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see that you're all still happy. Patrick, you're okay. Vincent, yep. you're all right. Chrissy, yep. you lost a good mate. You're okay? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, and then I can see Dan and Reggie. Congratulations for making it through. Jamie, no, Kim, okay. first night's nominating. We'll see how it all goes. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye, Joe. Oh, it's always very hard crossing to the house. But now it is time to see how our nomination virgins are going. Mm -hmm. Up tonight, nominating for the first time, and Jamie and Kim are chalk and cheese. And it seems that Jamie has gone out of his way to meet and greet his new friends. So will the other housemates think he's a real nice guy or a shrewd tactician? I thank God that you're in here as well because you remind me so much of every part of me in a way, like a little bit of every person that I know. I'm not just interested in knowing about you just because of your cooking and zany things that you do that make me laugh, but because of your different take on life and it keeps me interested and I'm really interested in knowing about you and where you come from. I'm going to make Patrice's bed and do for him his bed. That's nice. 
without patronise or anything, just let me know. Mm. My friends always tell me that. Did I? Yeah. And have you heard today's joke, though? Everything's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I'm trying to do the right thing by everybody. Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Got this on the plate. Now, if Kim is playing a tactical game, she is hiding it well. But you've got to love her. She says what she likes and she likes what she says. And if anyone's going to call a spade a bloody shovel, it's Kim. <laughs> I'm a bit rude and crude, aren't I, Chrissy? Um, I don't know about rude and crude. The mind boggles. Your stories are different. Yeah. Vincent doesn't talk to me. Vincent! That is normal. Saxon annoys the shit out of me. Yeah, one more left, kid. Please do it one more left. Listen, when I try and talk to him, he'll be smarter. I'm not going to burst out. Because I'm staying with a bunch of people that, you know, don't really know. <laughs> and um, Reggie said, go and talk to someone in the room, and I did, and I just said everything that I felt at the time, which wasn't very nice, because I said I didn't like anyone in here. Well, at least you're up front and you're forward and you're honest. Okay, so it seems Kim might not be the flavour of the month with Saxon or Chrissy. Well, they're first up in the diary room tonight, so let's see if they nominate the new Kim in town or settle older scores.